good morning students in this video we are going to discuss about chapter 1 introduction to computers in this chapter we already covered two topics that is introduction to computers and generations of computers now we are going to discuss about a sixth generation computing data and information and components of your computers okay so now we see about a sixth generation computing so last video we discuss about sixth generation computers okay the main concept used in this sixth generation is artificial intelligence intelligence comes naturally we cannot able to create manually but now it also created manually that is known as artificial intelligence okay the human beings are having the uh, intelligence power as well as animals and birds is also having the intelligence power to make decision and logical reasoning okay nowadays the intelligence power is feed to the system that is mission uh, to make your yeah, artificial intelligence okay so now the human can feed intelligence power to the mission so the important concept in sixth generation computing is the first one is artificial neural networks and then second one is wide area networking and then third is natural language processing that is the important concept in sixth generation is there are three main concepts used in this uh, sixth generation computing so now you can see by one by one okay neural networks the neural networks is commonly available to the living things that is human beings birds and animals okay wide area networks means uh, wide area networks means uh, is used to connect your wide geographical area that is join the world together in your single network that is known as your wide area networks now uh, in sixth generation computer you are ready based on the natural language processing okay so now you can see about sixth generation computing in the sixth generation computers could be defined as the era of intelligent computers based on artificial neural networks sixth generation computers are known as a yeah, intelligent computers because in this generation the computers are using the technology artificial neural networks it is also known as ann so most dramatic changes in the sixth generation will be the explosive growth of wide area networking that is wide area networks is used to connect large geographical areas together so throughout the world the networks can be connected okay so natural language processing is a component of artificial intelligence on this uh, sixth generation computers can work based on the natural languages okay here we are using the common language used by the human beings so that is known as a natural language it provide the ability to develop the computers programs to understand the human language what you have to speak that language the system can understand and process the data so these are the important things for your sixth generation computing okay so now we move to the next one data and information before going to discuss about what is mean by data and what is mean by information first of all we know where it can be used why we need a yeah, data and information okay data and information are processed by the computers okay so first of all we know what is your computer so i think you know the definition about computers already okay once again i recall the points about what is a computers okay so computer is an electronic device for what purpose we are using this electronic device this device is mainly used for processing so process the input okay so input means the given information it can be processed and produce your result that is your output okay so at very fast rate how it can be produce your result it produce your result at very fast rate okay so what is meant by computer computer is an electronic device it process the data what data it can be processed it process the input data and then how it can be processed 
based on the set of instructions this set of instructions is known as a program okay so based on the program the data can be processed after the process is over it provide the result that is your output okay at very fast rate so this is the definition about computer in another words we can say is yeah computers are very versatile we know what is the meaning of versatile versatile means multi purpose nowadays computers are used in lot of purpose no so as they do a lot of different task so computers can do lot of different task so such as storing data where it can be used computers are used to storing data you know in bank we, we, uh, bank maintain the lot of accounts details okay that we can store the data using your computers and then weather forecasting so every day in news uh, weather forecasting news is also coming no that also can be done by using the computers and then booking airline tickets railway tickets or movie tickets uh, these are all done by using the computers uh, even nowadays in lockdown period we are playing games no that games is also created by the computers okay so computers are very versatile it can be used for multi purpose uh, that's why we call it as a versatile okay so next we see about what is mean by data so data is defined as an unprocessed collection of raw facts so what is mean by raw fact means the fact is collected from the field okay that is where the in uh, where the instance is occurred that uh, that place we can go and collect the details that is known as a raw fact okay so it is a unprocessed it just collect the data it is not processed okay so suitable for this data is suitable for communication interpretation or processing okay so communication means if you want to it change the messages if you want to convey some message then we can use this data okay interpretation we if you want to translate that also we are using the data and processing okay so the examples of data is 16 ria 134 c so these are all known as a data if you are seeing data alone data is not giving any meaning so you can able to find any meanings in this data no no so here 16 is there ria 16 is one of the number ria is name 134 is again one number c is one character we can't able to find any meanings using this data okay so data cannot give any meanings but if you process this data we can get the meanings okay so data is known as a raw fact data is known as a raw fact that is unprocessed collection of raw facts okay so next we see about what is mean by information okay so information as a collection of facts from which conclusion may be drawn so information is known as a collection of fact okay that is it is a processed data what is meant by data data is known as a unprocessed data okay information is known as a processed data in simple way data is the raw facts what is meant by data data is the raw facts that is processed to give meaningful ordered or structured information is known as a inf is known as a information okay that is data can be processed to give the information here we can see the example uh, what is the example for uh, data ria 16 we see that one no that data can be processed here give, see this example ria is 16 years old now you can get the meanings no now you can convey some message that is ria is a girl and have the age is 16 years old okay so ria is 16 years old this is known as a information what is meant by data we just collect raw facts that is known as a data okay ria 16 that alone is known as a data now we can process the data and we get the message that is ria is 16 years old after processing the data we get the information okay 
For clear understanding, now you can see one picture for conversions of data and informations. Okay, so input we can give the input that is your data. Your data can be processed. Okay, input can be processed. After that, we get the output. That output is known as your information. Okay, now you can have the clear idea about data and information. The collection of raw facts is known as your input. That raw facts can be processed. Okay, after the process is over we get the output and that expected output is known as your information yes so unprocessed data unprocessed elements is known as your data processed data is known as your information data cannot give any meanings but information can give the meanings okay so that is the difference between data and information okay Okay, now you can see one more definition about computers. A computer is an electronic device. We already know it is an electronic device that takes raw data. And raw data means unprocessed. Okay, that raw data is known as an input from the user. Where it can be take the data? It can be take from the user and process it. So the data can be processed. It. How it can be processed? Under the control of a set of instructions. That set of instruction is known as a program. Okay. The data can be processed by using the program. After the process is over, it produces a result. Okay. What it can be produced? It produces a result. That result is known as a output. Okay. And saves it for future use. So, this is also one of the definition about computers. Okay. Now, you can understand what is mean by computer and what is mean by data and the information okay okay uh, okay students now we see about today's assignment okay so uh, today's assignment is explain generations of computers for this question you have to explain all the generations of computers okay in your book one tabular column is given you read that one and uh, write the answer for this question and then what is your computer write the definition about computer and then write short note on sixth generation computing that is we discussed in this video now sixth generation computing that i have to write and then what is data what is an information so students you must read the answer for this questions and then write okay okay students thank you